Hey everybody, Pierre Quinn here, and I teach leaders how to courageously begin the journey to personal and professional transformation. In this video, I wanna give you the five steps to getting the first draft of your leadership book done by the end of this weekend. So, let's go. Before we jump deeper into the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can be one of the first to know whenever I release new content. To all my leaders watching this video right now, you need to write a book. You might not end up on the New York Times bestseller list, but writing a book can have a significant impact on your business, on your brand, and on your career. That's why you need to write one and I need you to start this weekend. In this video, I'm gonna give you the five steps to making that first draft that's in your head become a reality by the end of the weekend. And here's how you do it. Step one is what I like to call the idea blast. Take a sheet of paper, take your journal, take your computer, take your phone. I like to use those huge post-it notes for exercises like this. Set a timer for 20 minutes and write down all of the book ideas that are in your head. That's right, all of the ideas in your head in 20 minutes. After you do the idea blast, you move on to step two. And step two is what I like to call the elimination round. Take another sheet of paper and write two columns. Column one, all of the ideas that you're really excited about. Column two, all of the ideas that you think people would be inclined to read right now. What book idea is scratching where the majority of people are itching? And whatever concepts or titles show up in both columns, circle those and transfer them to one more list. Take the ideas that show up in both of the columns, one, excited to write about it, two, you feel like people would be inclined to read it, and make a list of the ideas that fall into both categories. Once you have that list, rank them, one being this is a good idea, and 10 being this is the best idea. That brings us to step three, and step three is what I like to call clustering. Okay, you'll need to set a timer for 20 minutes once again, and the idea that you have decided upon, put that in the middle of your sheet of paper. And for the next 20 minutes, write down everything that comes into your head as you think about what is now your central topic or idea. Fill up the sheet of paper, questions that you would ask, research that you've done, places that you've traveled, knowledge that you have, insights or quotes that are popping into your head. Just cover the paper with everything that is sparked in that moment. Once that 20 minutes is over, group similar ideas together in clusters. What you've done now essentially is outlined chapters for your book. You see how much you've progressed so far. You have the idea blast. You've done some elimination so that you can come up with a central idea. From this central idea, you've had another brainstorm. And from that brainstorm, you've clustered concepts and ideas together, which essentially will form the chapters of your book. Step four, now that you have the clusters, you're gonna take a deeper dive into creating the content from your book. And you're going to do this by speaking. That's right, I said speaking. For each cluster, take 20 minutes and jot down some notes that expand what you've started in the clusters. And for each cluster, set a timer for 20 minutes and hit record on a voice memo or use some voice production software on your phone and talk through the expanded notes for each cluster for 20 minutes. Okay, for step five, here's what you need to do. Take all of those clusters or all of those chapters and upload them to a site like rev.com, R-E-V.com, or use a site like Fiverr or Upwork and find someone to transcribe your 20-minute voice segments. After those 20-minute voice segments have been transcribed, you now are left with a rough, I know it's gonna be really rough, but you have a rough draft of your book project. You started with some ideas, you did some elimination, you did some brainstorming, you did some clustering, and then you literally spoke the content for your book. Now it's a rough draft and after this, you'll wanna go through, rework the draft, add some content, take some things away and really flesh out the book even more and then work with an editor to really craft what you've gathered at that point. But you're much further along in those five steps 
than you would be by simply staring at your computer screen. I've used this general framework to produce both of my books on leadership, Leading While Green and Leading While Scared. And it's a great way to jumpstart the book writing process. Now that you have the five steps, I need you to commit to the five steps. Take a day over the course of your weekend put the five steps into action. So by the time the weekend is over, you can have a rough draft of your new book. I've shared this process with several people before. I know it works. I know someone's life can be changed. I know your influence can expand and I know your leadership can grow by taking what's in your head and what's in your heart and putting it on paper for people to read. So let's get this book started this weekend.